Yeah, so we make a hydraulic impact hammer, okay. um, which is an alternative to the standard um, conventional hydraulic hammer that you would see in the marketplace. Okay. Where we shine is in the oversize processing on the front end, reject material, oversized steel, um, difficult jobs that a standard hydraulic hammer struggles with. Okay. Um, and that's where we become more productive, uh, more profitable, yeah, more efficient, uh, you know, easier from the operational maintenance standpoint for people. Okay. Uh, so there's that, that part of it too. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's one of those where it's just, it's a fabulous alternative to an age old problem on the front end of how do I deal with the reject and oversize that I get through my blasting or mm. however you're processing on the front end. Actually, just to, uh, on that side, so when you say like the blasting, so what what would typically happen is you've got this oversized, weird size material, and that's where the sure strike comes in True. to basically <clears throat> break that apart. Yeah. So with any blasting uh, and or processing on the front end, whether you're ripping or anything else, yeah. with any of that type of front end material generating process, you're going to end up with oversized and reject material. You know. Right. It, if your blasting is such that you really don't end up with that, you end up with too many fines and it becomes really inefficient and un, um, productive for a company to do it that way. Okay. But you'll typically end up with, you know, material that's quite a bit larger. Yeah. And you have to deal with that. Okay. Um, a lot of times in the past, that just gets stockpiled off to the side. Okay. It just gets pushed over and dealt with because it's always been difficult. You know, it's one of the reasons that Sure Strike, you know, I bought Sure Strike years ago mm -hmm. was because I saw those inefficiencies for so long in the, in the industry. I've What's been doing this for 30 plus years and I saw a product that actually could solve that issue to where it didn't just have to be stockpiled or didn't become a real money drain or time drain or, yeah. you know, resource problem inside the quarries and the, the mines. Mm -hmm. um, so we took it to kind of the next step of, of giving us a product that could, we could take to the market that people could look at and process in their their operation yeah. the way you would a crushing plant or a screening plant, mm -hmm. um, rather than just focusing on that side of the business and whatever we have over here just is what it is.